Let's take a look at this 2011 Suzuki King Quad 500. Yes, with power steering. This ATV's in excellent condition. It's blue. Don't get a whole lot of blue ATVs. This one looks sharp. No major cracks or holes in the plastics. The racks are not all bent up. Front bumper even. I really like the Suzuki's with the headlight. I think that design is one of my favorite in ATVs. Differential and front axle guards look good. These tires are newer, less than a year old. Footwells are not all beat up. Looks good. Seat looks good. This is fuel injected. Starts easy, so we'll start it up here in a second, but no problems there. No choke to worry about or carburetor. See the exhaust looks nice. It's got a storage box both there in the back on the left, and then it's also got one up there on the right. You can see with the round lid on it of the cap cover. So it's a smaller one that locks locks the lid for keys or wallet or whatever you want to store. This is an automatic. You see the shifter there on the left hand side. It's got reverse, neutral, low and high. This thing does go 50, 55 miles an hour. So you can just put it in high gear and go from zero to however fast you want to go just by pressing the throttle. No, no foot shift, no thumb shift, nothing like that. Again, you see more of the same on this side. Good foot wells, seat, plastics, labels look good. Wheels are in good shape. So this is a 500cc. See that 4x4 four four 500axi is the official model. This does have the 4x4 four four up here with the differential lock. So when you're when it's running, you push this button in to get your four-wheel drive. And then if you really get stuck and you need all four wheels to spin, you can just flip this over, or sorry, flip this up, and that'll lock in your differential. On the left side here, you've got your basic lights, starter, cutoff switch, and your reverse override. And then in your gauge panel, we'll go ahead and turn that on. You see you've got your odometer and trip button, as well as your hour meter versus your time. There you see the hours and miles, about 292 miles on it. Or sorry, 292 hours, about 2,800 miles. Then you can put some gas in it. We'll go ahead and start up. Uh, with this one, this is one where you turn the keys to the next position for your lights. We're not worried about that for now. We're going to go ahead and do a start on this. Focus on the rear so you can see there's no smoke at all. So it starts easy, idles great, runs well. Again, there's really not any shifting to worry about. This drives real smooth. It does have that power steering. It just it handles really nicely. If you have any questions, want to see close-ups from a particular angle, just let me know. Thank you.